Now kids, it's time to go home. We've got to go back to Schloss and Captain Von Plummer. <laughs> to play on beach for a bit longer. Do it so unfair. Uh, well, you see, when I feel sad about things, I normally what I do is I think about all my favourite things and it makes me feel so much better. Sirloins and ribeyes and free range chicken, bacon, black pudding, me lips I'll be licking, yards of huge sausages on a big string. These are a few of my favourite things. When the flea bites and them tick things, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favourite things and then I don't feel so bad. Hello, I'm a politician. If those are your favourite things, all you need to do is vote for me and you'll have all those things. What, really? Oh yes, and other goodies, like chocolate and stuff. Eh, chocolate's bad for dogs. No, 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 it's foreign chocolate that's bad for dogs. You see, your foreign johnnies insist on chocolate containing at least 300% cocoa solids. When I get into power, you'll be able to call anything chocolate as long as it's brown and contains sugar. You'll be able to eat it till it comes out of your ears. Oh, nice one. Hmm, just vote for me. Well, I can't be doing with all that politics. I'm going back to the farm. There's four prints on your sofa. She shakes mud on the wall. She steals all your bacon and chews up tennis balls. She leaves hair on the carpet and all along the hall. Colleen is not an asset to the farmyard. How do you solve a problem like Colleen? How do you make a cheeky pup get down? You can shout until you're hoarse. She will ignore you, of course. She'll wear a stupid look upon her face. How do you solve a problem like Colina? How do you stop a dog being a dog? The thing is, Colina, you're not a very good sheepdog. I think you'd better go back to Captain Von Plummer and look after his kids. You should go marry him or something like that. Ah, Kalina, you're back. Jolly good. I need you to look after the kids. Teach him a song or something. Well, I've got to go off and do important elephant stuff. Right, kids. Can you remember that song I told you? Yeah, the one about the deer. Yep, that's the one. Now, all that do re me farty pants, all Euro nonsense. We don't need it anymore. We need proper British music. Vote for me! <laughs> well, never mind that. Let's do another song instead. Do you remember that one I taught you, Swan? Yes. Is that the one with the foreign words in it? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So long, farewell, happy days in adieu. Now that's enough of that. I'm banning foreign words. The money saved by not teaching foreign languages in schools will pay for a free healthcare system for everyone. Not really. Trust me, I'm a politician. <laughs> I can't believe that buffoon has got himself elected. We've got to leave this place and we may not be coming back for a very long time. How are we going to do that? I'm going to enter the entire family into a talent competition, then do a runner. Why a talent competition? To make the plot even more implausible, I'll just need some string puppets and a guitar. Ooh, and you can get some nuns to do the security. Climb every mountain, search high and low. Follow every byway, every path you know. Climb every mountain, ford every stream, follow every rainbow, till you find your dream. A croissant with jam, a Swiss yogurt with cheese, that's all with you, B&B, &B. you can eat what you please. Climb every 